How's it going YouTube and welcome back to Behind the Blade. This is episode 29 and we are on site already to get cracking with some ground maintenance. We've got a Hustler Raptor XDX and the right on the back of the trailer and we've also got the tractor and we're here at our parish council to get cracking with all of the parish's ground maintenance. So we get straight on job and as Ash gets all the kit out and ready I get the Trimax dropped and we start on the outfield. Now there's loads of obstacles here so I have to do this at a really really low ground speed just to ensure that we don't cause any damage. As I'm doing the outfield Ash cracks on with the strimming and he's doing a fantastic job and here I like to do two loops on the outfield in different directions just to cause a bit of a nice stripe and then I have to go around all the obstacles nice and slowly and then I can finally start on the main field. So I finished all the tractor work and I've just jumped on the mowers to get them off the trailer. Did our like pre-use checks and the right could do with some oil. So I'm going to run and grab some because it's not worth the risk of using it all day where potentially it could need some. So I'm going to go grab some oil and we'll get it back on the road. Whilst I'm grabbing some oil, Ash is going to carry on just mowing and strimming all the bits on that large area. And then if I'm not back in time, he'll head to the cemetery. So armed with the oil, I get that topped up and checked and all is good. So that means I can jump back on the mower nice and safely to get all the little bits that Ash has already started. But I start on the other side of the field. Once the field is all complete, we can get blown up. And on the way to the cemetery, we start to grab the verges en route just to make life a little bit more efficient. Grass is not too bad around the town. However, the cemetery is looking a little long. It's gonna take a couple of cuts to get this down. But with one side done, we go over it again just to get rid of all the mess. But we've still got a second side. So I get cracking with that on the Hustler XDX. It's currently got the mulch blade on, which was a little bit of struggle with this length. But we then get strimmed and blowed and move on to the rest of the town. Now it's the first time having two smaller mowers here and it works really well having one person on each side of the street and also on the larger areas it meant we could tandem mow to make things mega mega efficient. Ash just covering my overlap and we can work together to get all the little bits done as soon as possible. Some of the larger areas of grass seem to have the most growth so we went over them twice but it made it really really interesting tandem mowing just covering that overlap and I'll definitely recommend it if you've got the ability. We get all the strimming done and the final bits of mowing and then we can head back to the van. We are all done. It's Friday, we are on site. Ash has already been to a couple of sites this morning and I've had lots of meetings this morning. We're here at the care home to get the maintenance done. So Ash gets straight on with pulling the wee bang out and we get cracking with all the grass at this care home. Luckily the wee bang makes it an absolute joy visually and actually doing the job. And just a reminder, you've got 24 hours to enter for the 56 Legacy Pro on Cut Crew competitions. Today's been stressful. Been trying to sort out a load of stuff. But we are at the market finding Volta to do some line marking. Don't really feel like filming today, which is a bit bad. So I had a little bit of a rest from it, but we shall see you tomorrow. Saturday morning, we're on our first site. This is a new site to us. It's got a little bit of grass here, a little bit of grass around the building. It's basically an office block. Got some hedging out the front and a grass bank over there. So let's get it. So sites like this are absolutely perfect for a Saturday. We can get in and out and make a difference and provide value to the customer. Anyway, Ash cracks on straight away with the strimming whilst I'm doing all of the hedge works. And I'm tidying up all the little bits and bobs like the bottom of the trees, making piles as I go. But all of this hedge work at the front has been tidied and there's some bits over there also. We're at the next site and what a glorious day it's turned out to be. Mainly just hedge work, tidying and weed spraying here. So let's crack on with it. So this site literally is just hedge work and a little bit of weed spraying. We've got hedges that wrap around the whole of the front of the building and the rear car park. Now this is an NHS facility, so it's got to look prim and proper all the time. And there's been some crazy growth in the last two weeks, but we thoroughly enjoyed shaping it up. Once we'd finished on the hedge work and gave it a quick blow, which meant we could then head to the next site. 
last job's done we're back at the unit we're loaded up with the right and the raptor because we want to try something at the next mowing job so we arrive at our regular mowing site we get the hustler and the right off of the trailer and we get cracking now if you've watched the videos before you'll know that we usually use our hustler super 104 here but having done some tandem mowing in the beginning of the week at the parish councils we thought we would test this on a saturday to see if it was more efficient and it actually works really well we could whip around all of the smaller areas together and it just made all the smaller areas a lot quicker having two mowers and then with the main field it set a lovely lovely strike and it wasn't too bad timing wise at all in fact i think we did it in record time and it left some beautiful stripes so with the main field done we can get the kit back onto the trailer and as ash secures all the equipment i can run around and do all of the trimming. and with all of that said and done it's time for us to head off for our long bank holiday Tuesday morning, we've just had a bank holiday. We've just arrived at a school. Got three sites on this school complex to sort out and then we've got a parish council this afternoon. Obviously, I'm here in the tractor. You've just seen Ash turn up. We've got the right and the hustler today and the Bocom trike. Let's get on with it. You already know the score. We start off with the outfield doing that nice and nice and slow. And once that's done, we can pick up our ground speed and head on to the main body of the field. Now, because there's an athletics track on here, when I've done the main body, I just whipped around the athletics track as well to get rid of any mulch and grass cuttings ready for line marking. So with the field all cut, we're now gonna just do the outer loops. Ash has already been around the school and done all the spraying and the hedge work. And he's grabbed the little bits with the right. One of us will jump on the right on the field now and do the outside, and then one of us will crack on with the strimming and then the line marking. So with the kids' arrival looming, we get cracking with all the grass cutting on the main body of the field and all the strimming of the fence lines. And once that's done, we can prepare the trike ready for line marking. Ash is going to be line marking today, so as he does that, I'm going to head to the second part, second site of this school and get cracking with the grass cutting and I jump straight on attacking that centre line to set my first strike. And strike by strike, we just carry on until it's all done. And by this point, Ash had come round to do all of the smaller bits and the strimming on the right. With that done, I can now head to the third and final part of this school site, which is really, really small. So I have to take the ground speed right down on the tractor to ensure I don't hit anything or run out on the corners. But we get this finished and tidied, and before we crack on with anything else, we do a little bit of hedge work and neaten the place up out the front. And then we jump on the smaller mowers to do all of the small areas that the tractor couldn't get and obviously all of the strimming. We then finish off at the front of the school just setting a nice stripe in front of the school and then head to the next job. We're here, gonna get the mowers off. We've got a parish council to cut, strim, mow and blow. Let's get on with it. So again, this was the first time we'd done this site with two smaller mowers and it actually worked really, really well. It was quite nice to have two mowers, one either side. We could just work up together, strimming and blowing and mowing as we go, working as a team, getting all the fence lines nice and tidy. We worked our way through the town, finishing up on a large area where, of course, we did some tandem mowing. we're all done i ended up not filming a lot because my phone went down to like 10 percent and obviously i need my battery in case people call but we're now on the way back to the unit and we shall see you tomorrow tomorrow is wednesday it's wednesday morning we are back at the school we was at yesterday because we've got to do an initial mark we could have done it yesterday however we just run out of time we was gonna do it after the parish council in the afternoon but we're here now let's get on so we've got two initial mark of tag football to do and we first off start with getting a primary line in using our string lines and then we can use these right angle pieces to get the outline of the whole field done. Once the outline was done we can start moving down doing all the yardage lines. I'm not quite sure what tag football is but we managed to complete two of them and head to the next site. The next site is a parish council and as soon as we get there we get the kit off of the trailer and we get mowing. 
Now this is a monthly mow, so the grass was absolutely ridiculously long. We had to cut some areas maybe three or four times and it left the right mess, so we constantly had to tidy up after ourselves. But nonetheless, we kept soldering on, working from verge to verge to get this parish council sorted out. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. We've just had our first breakdown on the Hustler. So there's a spring that sits on the tensioner and one of the ends had snapped like the little hooky bit. And we've managed to kind of cowboy repair it with a bungee. So I've wrapped that round the spring that had snapped. Let me just show you, let me just show you. So you can see there the spring that snapped and I've just wrapped that hook around the coils in order to pull it through the tensioner. Not sure how long it will last. However, hopefully it will get us round a bit further and if it happens again i've got one more hook if it does happen again straight back to the trailer so we cracked on with the hope that that little bungee hook would last the test of time and we just got cracking every piece of grass getting it mowed and you can see just how long it is we had our work cut out here and if you're wondering no the hook didn't last and we had to use the second one however we were so close to the trailer we just soldiered on. We've only got a few more bits of grass left. Ash is just blowing up there. We're gonna head back to the van and there's a couple of strips on the way back to the van. It's got me reflecting. It's been a mega long grass day. We've had long grass and it's been a long day. I was up until 2 a.m. last night. And the reason I was up until 2 a.m. is one, because I was chasing money from clients, but two, because we've just launched a new competition on Cut Crew Competitions. The main draw is for a Legacy 48 Pro Weebang, and then there's £2,700 worth of instant wins also. So if you buy a ticket for the Weebang, you've also got a chance to win either a hedge cutter, a blower, cash, site credit, Husqvarna protection kit. There's loads and loads of stuff. So go check out the link in the comments Go check out the link in the description and good luck. I can't wait to make loads more of my subscribers and everyone else more winners. Anyway, right, we're getting the mows on the trailer. We've got one more little site that's attached to this one and then it's home time. And we turn up at that second site and oh my Lord, look how long this weed section is. It could have done with a flail, but we just have to make do. This is literally four weeks growth. Would you believe it? And while Ash carries on tackling that without a flail, I run round with a strimmer and we can finally finish all the smaller areas that aren't quite as long. <sighs> and finally we are done. Didn't film a lot. That was pretty brutal. Everything was really, really long. Absolutely knackered. I've got meetings tonight. Still got loads of work to catch up on. Got to edit this video. <sighs> when will i ever get sleep anyway that is the end of this episode thank you all so much for watching best of luck if you do enter any competitions on cut crew competitions next week's a little bit of a hectic one but make sure you subscribe let us know in the comments below what you've liked about this video again if you can like comment and share to your friends that would be amazing but yeah we shall see you in the next one bye <laughs>